All right, welcome back to Stable Talk. We have Sam and Anthony from the baseball team. Sam is a senior first baseman, and Anthony is a sophomore from New York City. If you guys no. want <laughs> <laughs> he's from New York, but the way we wrote it, it says. Oh, he's a catcher. He's a catcher. Yeah, it's like All NY right. and then Dusty. <laughs> right. Nope. He's like, oh. no, I'm actually not. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you corrected me. All right. Yeah, well, I'm actually, I just moved down to Pennsylvania too, so it's like. All right, I will let okay. not say locations then. All right, welcome funny. back that to. That was kind of funny, though. We should keep that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to Stay With Talk. We have Sam and Anthony from the baseball team today for episode 11. If you guys want to tell us, like, your hometowns, positions, majors, all the good stuff, whoever wants to go first. I'll start. So I am Sam Ferreira. I'm a senior uh, first baseman, uh, business administration major from uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Which track? Because I didn't do that. Is that yeah. Track. <laughs> Finance? Yep. Yeah. What do you want to do? Be accounting, accountant, or like. I want to get into wealth management. That's. Uh, I'm Anthony Zuno. I'm a sophomore. I'm studying accounting, and I just moved down from New York to Pennsylvania, and I'm a catcher, and I'd like to do wealth management too because Sam is a baller. So. What part of <laughs> Pennsylvania? Um, I'm right near Lehigh. I don't know where yeah. that is. Yeah, I don't, it's, it's all right. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know where it is either. <laughs> I figured like, yeah, everyone I just, in Pennsylvania would just say they're by Philadelphia or Pittsburgh or something. I'm like, I'm close to Philly. Like, all I'm right. like 30 from Philly, so. You right. live in the suburbs of Philly. Okay, um, we're going to start off with some Stevenson and baseball trivia. So we're really going to test your knowledge here. Okay. Okay. What position did Coach Dave Gage play at Southern Vermont? Second base. What did you say? Second base. Yeah. Yeah, second base. <laughs> <laughs> they, said he had the rec they said he had the school record for saves also. Was he a catcher? I mean, pitcher? I, I think so a little bit, but he was mainly a second baseman. Yeah. He also, I think, holds the record for hit by pitches. That's a nice record to have. Yeah, I, I went to Southern Vermont for a semester, and then oh, I trained. Okay. Yeah. I tra right. nice. Yeah, Sam is Coach Gage's prodigy. <laughs> what team? <laughs> All right. What team does Stevenson baseball have the most all-time wins against? Ooh. Do you know it? Oh. Uh, Wait, what did Sam just say? Albright? Mm -mm. It's 19 wins. If that They're non-conference. They're a non-conference team. I have yeah. no clue. Saint? <laughs> St. Mary's? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. 19, oh, there you go. 19 is that wins. what you would expect, or you wouldn't expect it to be that? Well, I that, think in my career, we've only played them once. So that's why. I think there were some other schools that you beat 16 times, if I remember right. But. Okay, hey, when did we play them? I played them my sophomore year. Oh, nice. That was, was a day. High school. Yeah. <laughs> Said any year between 2000 and 2020. That's where, like, the key middle of was. But I don't know. No, that's cool. All right. What coach or assistant coach was class valid Victorian in college? Coach Gage. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He has, he has impressive accolades. All right, before yeah, I, know, I ask like, the next that's two. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Before I ask the next two, did you guys both play the 2018, 2019 season? No, just Sam. Just Sam. All right, Sam, these next two questions are for you then. <laughs> Who led okay. the team in home runs and RBIs in the 2018-2019 season? It's the same person, but. Alex Kidweiler? Yeah. And then who led the team that same year in stolen bases? 
Was it? It's either KJ Murray or Matt Kerber. It was Kerber. Kerber, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he beat Coach record. Wade's record, right? Yeah, he holds the record now, but he was hurt a little bit that year, so I didn't know if KJ passed him. Gotcha. I think it was close, if I was remembering correctly. I think it was like one up on the next person. Something like that. Okay, that's the end of trivia. You guys feel very good. <laughs> Um, okay, before our next section, do you guys have any like funny team stories or like do you want to share like your favorite coach story, anything like that that people might want to hear? <laughs> um, one funny story was my freshman year. Um, we had a long bus trip to Salisbury, I think it was, and we did team karaoke with the intercom system on the bus and how long the whole bus ride it took up about like an hour but right. it was probably the combination of the funniest and worst like singing your <laughs> life that was on the way there or the way back on the way back who was the best there singer? i'm not sure i i don't really remember i know i did a rendition of ice ice baby that was pretty terrible <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> If you guys can't tell, Sam has one of the best speaking voices. <laughs> I can't tell through Zoom, but I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, he's he can he can he can definitely talk. He's good at it. <laughs> Who gives pregame speeches? Sam, is that you? Do you give him pregame? Sam, <laughs> Sam, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, he did a little bit last season. Maybe. <laughs> who has so who has the best singing voice? on the team no one or just <laughs> they're all pretty terrible <laughs> <laughs> i assume you, you won i assume stories? that's why you're doing karaoke i assume you won i don't i don't remember but i <laughs> oh yeah if we <laughs> lost we weren't we wouldn't be doing karaoke. that's what i figured we had sound canceling headphones on so we couldn't hear anyone like speaking Mm -hmm. And I remember I took mine off and everyone was just laughing. So I don't know if that meant <laughs> I did well or it was just really bad. So. I think that means you're killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Not something I'd do again. <laughs> Anthony, do you have any stories to share? You know, I was like thinking, you know, the season was so long ago. I don't know if I can really think of stuff, but I think like just daily, like, I've never laughed that much, like, in my life, just, like, being around these people. Mm -hmm. Like, Sam Sam is hilarious. <laughs> you have – like, I feel like our culture is just, like, it's just hilarious. Like, I, I just can't really think of any, like, specific stories. But Segment number three, we're going to play Would You Rather. Did you yeah. write these or did you find these? Um, I think I found, like, the first few, and then I, I think, like, the bottom some I think I came up with myself. Nice. All right, first one. Would you rather spend the next year exempt from all taxes or have one have a one month paid vacation? Paid vacation. Take the paid vacation too. Yeah. Taxes. Yeah. yeah, I think you'd have to get paid a lot to want to. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I get paid enough for me to like have a burden of taxes. Yeah. Would you rather spend one week in the wilderness or one night at a real haunted house? Put me in the woods. <laughs> Dude, put oh, me in the haunted house. Whole week? No, haunted house. I'll, I'll take the tent. I don't, I do not, <laughs> I do, not <laughs> do haunted things. No way. What about horror movies? I could do those because I know they're fake, but it's like, if I hear something while I'm watching them, I'm on edge. <laughs> oh, so this is like a real haunted house, not like a Halloween haunted house that you're thinking of. Yeah, like The Shining. Couldn't, okay. couldn't, do, that. couldn't do that. I used I to watch. Woods are scarier. I used to watch a lot of paranormal activity or like ghost hunters when I was little, but then I scared myself. Paranormal? I was like, I feel like I was in middle school when paranormal activity came out. And it's, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I was just in the other room while my cousins were watching it. And it, like, scarred me. Huh. What's the scariest movie you guys have seen, though? Paranormal Activity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I've never seen, like, very many 
scary movie, so that's really I went to the like, theaters fun. early in college and saw what would have been a, not one of the Conjuring movies or something like that. I don't know. I've seen like two horror movies in theater, and that was the one time was intense. But I could never we, watch a horror movie in theaters. Me the surround the sound. Grudge. The Grudge. Oh, is that the? I think I remember that. I couldn't go in. A, I couldn't take a shower or a bath or anything for like. <laughs> I hated it after that movie. <laughs> it was so scary. Okay. Um, would you rather wear... I don't remember writing this. <laughs> would you rather wear dirty laundry for the rest of your life or brand new clothes with the price tags like exposed all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I, would I like how you guys are It's thinking. so embarrassing if you have like a price tag exposed. <laughs> I'd rather do a price tag, personally. I go price tag. I don't want to smell bad. Exactly. I'd much rather have someone know how much I paid for a shirt than... Or that you, like, stole it or plan on returning it. <laughs> yeah. Same. Would you rather not eat turkey at Thanksgiving or not eat candy on Halloween? Not eat candy. You think? Yeah. I think I'd go with the... T- I need the turkey. <laughs> I don't need the turkey. I think I could. I couldn't go without the candy on Halloween, though. In the same way. I feel yeah. like I don't know. It might vary year by year, depending on how good the turkey is that year. I like the other stuff more than the turkey, so I don't mind skipping the turkey. What's your favorite? Me. Yeah. Um, mac and other cheese, or mashed potatoes, or rolls. What do you guys like? I like stuffing. Stuffing. Stuffing and mashed potatoes. Yeah. Gotta love a good roll and dessert. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, would you would you rather never lose the TV remote again or never have to watch another commercial? <laughs> See, I dealt with this the other day because it took me <laughs> to my TV remote. <laughs> Sometimes um, I like the commercials. I would have to say the commercials would have to go. Because mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons why, like, I don't really watch, like, cable TV anymore. I just wait for it to go it's on, like, Because the commercials? Yeah. Yeah. My dad will, yeah, he'll, like, record it and then fast forward. Do you guys, like, mute the TV when the commercials come on? Uh, no, I don't. My, my grandfather do. does that. I feel like that's, an, that's, like, an older person thing. Yeah, definitely. He, he used to, my dad used to like, all right, we have little sisters. So when like a commercial for like a horror movie would come on, he would like flip the channel and bring it back <laughs> and try to like time the Ravens game. I always thought that was geek. Yeah. All right, last one for would you rather. Would you rather never eat pancakes again or never eat cereal again? Never eat cereal. Or let's throw a third option <laughs> in. Or never eat a waffle again. Or waffle. I could go without waffles. Dude, Rockland had some good waffles back in the day. I don't know if they still do. I used to eat, I used to eat a lot of Rockland waffles. I was a big omelet guy. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Omelets were the way to go. What time? Was it 9.30 they stopped serving those? I feel like I never made it in time. Maybe it's 10.30, but I still never made it in time. Oh, and I lived on campus. It was 24-hour waffle. I mean, um, not waffle, um, omelet station. Oh, it didn't used to be like that, I guess. MC used to let us out, I remember, like, five minutes before. And, like, a lot of people would just sprint there, but I just took the L. <laughs> it's a big hill to get up. Yeah. I actually remember, yeah, like, staircase. actually sprinting for omelets. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember doing that, like, in the morning, like, I would, like, we would run to breakfast. Yeah, I swear it's, like, 9.30 they stopped serving. It. Maybe it's 10.30, but, or it used to be, at least. Shout out to Rockland. <laughs> Did, were okay. you guys there when Walt the Cookie Guy was there? You met Walt? Oh, yeah, I knew Walt the Cookie Guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What about you, Sergio? Oh, the Pizza Man. Yeah. Who are these people? These are the Legends. people who hold down Rockland. Rockland stuff. Yeah, Walt would make <laughs> cookies and then go on the shuttle to Greenspring, like not ride there, but would like walk to people going to the other campus and like hand out mm-hmm. cookies. That's He'd nice. always do a lap around Rockland too, and then deliver Yeah, you. He would like <laughs> force you to eat a cookie though. Sometimes he like wouldn't want one and he like wouldn't leave your table until someone took one. He did not take no lightly. <laughs> <laughs>
And then Sergio was a beast at making all the Italian stuff. Oh, yeah. That's cool that you remember their names. I mean, it's it's an all-star team. Like, they, they, they <laughs> actually do their job, like, pretty – like, very well. It's, like, it's fun to, like, talk to them. Yeah, I, I could still go without eating cereal out of all those, so. Yeah, I think I would – I think I would cereal. pass up on cereal as well. I have I live on cereal. That's like, like my milk. favorite meal. <laughs> so I couldn't I could give up waffles. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite cereal? Uh honey bunches of oats. <laughs> it's the one I go for. A nice healthy option. I like that. Yeah, I don't think I eat enough of the healthy cereal. I can't say that my my cereal is that healthy. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go on to the next segment, or you want to keep talking about <laughs> No, let's go. Okay. So, the next segment is rapid-fire questions. Jay, do you want me to ask, or do you want to Yeah, ask? I'll get the timer. Okay, Jay will run a timer of two minutes, and I'm going to ask rapid-fire questions, and the first thing that comes to your mind, you have to, like, say out loud. You are allowed to pass, but don't pass every time, because that's not fun. And so I'll ask the question and then we'll just go, Sam will answer right away. And then right after Anthony, you'll answer. And then we'll, I'll go on to the next question. How many minutes? Two minutes? Two minutes. And you have to finish all the questions in two minutes to the best of your ability. Yeah, this is going to be electric. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jay, just tell me when you're ready. All right. Three. Just count down from three. Three, two, one. If you could travel back in time, what period would you go to? The 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Did they both answer? No, just Sam. Okay, no. Oh, Anthony, no, go. dinosaur age. Okay. <laughs> How many cups of coffee could you have in one day if you could have as many as you want? Seven. <laughs> I'm so confused. Hold on. <laughs> Any answering afterwards? I feel like I didn't hear you either. So Sam goes, and then Anthony goes right after. Okay. So how many cups of coffee would you have in one day if you could? Anthony. Four. Seven. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> would you eat a day old taquito from 7-Eleven? Yes. That's a good yes. question. That's a really good question. What Easy. Is some, what is something you could eat for a week straight? A taquito from Seven Eleven. Pizza. <laughs> At Chipotle, black beans or pinto beans? Black beans. No beans. What is your favorite carb? Bread, pasta, rice, or potatoes? Bread. Bread. What's your favorite concert you've attended? I've only gone to one concert, so John Bellion, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Pass. <laughs> if someone were to play you in a movie, who would you want it to be? DiCaprio. <laughs> uh, Dave Franco. Last thing nah. that you last thing that you Googled. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> uh, blankets. <laughs> nice. <laughs> one, thing about, one thing that one thing about baseball that you'd like to change. The shift. <laughs> Being able to not play it. Oh, I want to play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep going because we had that little hiccup because there's some good questions. But I paused for the hiccup. Oh, okay. <laughs> that sound gives me PTSD. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, did you answer, Anthony? What was my last question? Yeah, I want to be able to play. That's the one thing I want. Oh, that's a good answer. Okay. Um, one non-baseball player that you'd like to be on the Stevenson baseball team, famous or not? What was that question again? So one human being. What? Yeah, not. one human being, famous or not, that you'd want to be on the Stevenson baseball team with you. But they don't play baseball, I guess. But they don't play baseball. <laughs> Like, you can't choose, like, a baseball Babe player. Ruth. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't choose Babe Ruth. Like. But you can choose, like, Will Ferrell. Yeah. 
Will Ferrell played baseball for a little bit. Oh yeah, I, was just, really I, just, I, just, I saw that YouTube video of him at the spring training or whatever. I think there's a Netflix thing on it too. Yeah. Ass. I'm that that question baffled me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd go with uh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> okay, I just think I think we'd be a better team. He would just be chopping us up. He doesn't even have to play theoretically. He could just be a bench guy and just yell at you. He could just be the hype guy and or the oh, the ball yeah. the bat boy or something. Um, what's your favorite hobby outside of baseball? Wealth management. <laughs> You're a stud for saying. No, I'd probably have to say video games. What system? Xbox One. Right now. Are you gonna get the new one? Oh yeah. <laughs> How much is it? Like five hundred. Yeah, it's it's a good amount. <laughs> He'll manage that wealth to get it. <laughs> uh, my favorite hobby. Hmm. Fucking jokes at Sam. Yeah, literally. That's fun. I like making jokes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what TV sitcom family would you want to be a member of? I don't really know that many, actually. Modern um, family, like with Phil and Claire. Yeah. <laughs> but them. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay. Um, what did you just want to delete my last question? <laughs> I saw did that. Taco Bell or McDonald? Yeah, I did. I'll put it back. What? Um, back. if you were given an opportunity to fly anywhere in the U.S. for free tomorrow, where would you go? If COVID wasn't a thing. San Diego. Mm. California. Have you both been? Never. Yeah. You've never been? No. I got, fam- I got some family out there. The furthest west I've been is Wisconsin. Is that where Ethan is? I'm just kidding. Wisconsin? What'd you do yeah. in Wisconsin? I have family out there. Okay. Like my mom. Yeah. My friend has family there and she goes every winter. And like when she, I don't know what part of Wisconsin it's in or what part you went, but like every time she goes, she's just ice fishing the entire time. Is that what, is oh, really? that what, is that what it's really like? I went in the summer, so Is it like that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was there for like a week, so that's. A... Did any of it feel comparable to that '70s show? Because that's where that is, right? Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. The real question: Taco Bell or McDonald's? McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, I agree. Chick Fil A or Popeyes? Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Popeyes. No. What? <laughs> no. I will never eat Popeyes. I haven't had their sandwich yet. The chicken sandwich. It's unreal. It's sensational, <laughs> but Chick Fil A is just so much better overall. The service. I just can't, I just can't imagine their it being good. I feel like. Uh, You're no. judging a book by its cover, then. I am. No, I totally am. Wow. <laughs> Um, that's all we got for you guys. Do you want to talk about anything else? <laughs> How do we usually wrap up, Jay? Um, we usually ask them if they have any, like, favorite quotes, quotes. or if they, anyone they want to shout out. Shout out. Um, any last second, any last, <laughs> last second, second stories thought. if Anthony thought of anymore or Sam thought of anymore. Any, oh, any wealth management tips you can give the Stevenson Athletics team. Oh, my God, Sam. Sam knows a bunch. I can't. Buy low Sam, self. Do you know? Sam, do you know? Sam, do I buy, buy the dip. Sam, do I buy Bitcoin? No. <laughs> buy Bitcoin. Sam, do you know? Sorry. I'm like interrupting everyone. Sam, do you know who Dave Ramsey is? No. That you don't? Son? I don't. He's like this really big finance guy that I follow on Instagram. And I like oh. listen to his podcast sometimes. But he posts like he like really just tells you how it is. You should follow him. He just really tells you how it is in like finance and this stuff. This is a good pitch. 
it is a really good pitch. I'm actually going to share, like, one of his tweets with you guys because I think it's really funny. My dad really likes him, so that's why I've, like, started following him. Um, I actually sent it to my friend today. He tweeted, <laughs> um, folks are going broke trying to look rich. Act your age. In Texas, they say big hat, no cattle. <laughs> and he just, like, <laughs> he just, like, says the most real stuff that really just humbles you in, like, finance. <laughs> I think he's funny. You guys should follow him. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, Send him this snippet and ask to be on his marketing team. His marketing team's already great. They don't need me. <laughs> um, wait, did you guys share any tips or quotes yet? I don't remember. No, we were listening to your pitch. Oh, okay. Any quotes, shout outs? Give us shout out to the squad, man. There you go. <laughs> shout out to Sam. Shout out to shout out to the stock market. <laughs> you guys buy a lot of stocks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Sam, has, Sam has helped me out with that. Are you successful often, most of the time, or what would you say? What's like the percentage of successful to bad investment? Uh, I would if you want to talk about it, we don't have to talk about it if you don't want. I mean, right, have now, six minutes. right now I've over doubled my money that I have, so I'd say overall it's been pretty successful. <laughs> That's great. Also, I think I pay way too much attention to it for a kid my age. So. <laughs> no, I love the passion in wealth management and stocks. What is your, I have what's your number one stock? The right now, um, it's Penn, the company that bought Barstool. Oh, I didn't know that someone bought Barstool. Is that okay. recent? I did know that, actually. I bought them at the beginning of COVID for oh, okay. like fifteen eighty a share. Not like 1580, it was 1580. <laughs> and, um, they're right now, they're like at $70 a share. So, how many shares did you get? Uh, 10. <laughs> nice. When did they, when they bought Bar Barstool like a long time ago, right? Uh, yeah, they bought it at like the new year, and then, um, I thought it was longer than that. COVID hit, and then it plummeted a little bit. So, then that's when I, that's when I bought it. It's, it's paid off. Can you buy Joe Rogan <laughs> stock? Can I buy Joe Rogan stock? Probably. I'm going to look into this this weekend. It's, it's, he probably has his own company, like Joe Rogan LLC. Probably. Joe Rogan Entertainment or something. <laughs> All right. Well, about this. <laughs> do you have any final motivational quotes or anything you want to send on? I guess you guys already shouted out the baseball team, so that's all good. I have a funny story, actually. Oh, to, okay. You got three, three minutes, minutes and, and 38 seconds. seconds. Zuno's been coming at me this whole phone call. Who? Since Anthony. Oh, has okay. Been oh, yeah, I forgot that's my first name. He decided to grow a mustache last spring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was the most hideous line of hair I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 I think, honestly i felt like i felt like this is gonna sound bad but i felt like the man like having a mustache right? but pictures? it was a literal caterpillar <laughs> do you have any pictures oh it's on my instagram it's it's awesome. i don't want to shout out my social media on here was it your headshot yeah and and it was a picture after you yelled at me maybe maybe we'll edit this and just smack it right here Oh, yeah. That would be good. I think we did that for the Men's Across podcast. One of them were talking about their mullet or something. and we. Oh, my God. They had they were mullet fest. Who was that? Matt Wilson. Or Pat Nelly. No, I know Justin. I didn't know what they were what, talking about their teammates. I don't know. I don't remember. Someone had a mullet. That's funny. Will you ever do the mustache again? Or is that a one-time thing? You if, know, never say never. When baseball starts again, make a bet that you're going to bring back the mustache. I think what? now, compared to back then, I can grow I a little bit more hair. So I might go like, what? Can I buy stock in the mustache? <laughs> oh, it would be a penny stock. <laughs> it, is, it is not a profitable thing. But <laughs> if I can grow more hair, then... I, I had a mustache this year for headshots. And it was not. Oh my god! Yeah, what are you saying, dude? Your mustache was okay. Your mustache was, was beautiful, but like, it was 
It was big. We're about to get kicked off, by the way. <laughs> we can't afford we can't afford the um premium Zoom. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Well, I, thank you guys for your time and thanks for teaching us weekend. about wealth management and stocks and mustaches and cereal. If me and Macy buy one stock this weekend, what should we buy? I haven't checked yet. Ten. Um, I'll let you know. Ten. <laughs> throw some money in throw some money in Microsoft right now. When we post right. this, comment comment on the Twitter Twitter post what stocks people should <laughs> invest in. Cool. This turned into like a like a a s like a s I don't even know, like a portfolio management group. <laughs> yeah. <of course. laughs> All, All right. right. Thanks guys. Good luck on right. um, finals and everything.